As we uh, wrap up this week, uh, we're thinking about um, hopefully uh, how we want to live. How do you want to live? Who do you want to be? Your identity is being shaped and reinforced, fortified. Remember, uh, identify, clarify, fortify. Your identity is being fortified by something, either by uh, the thoughts you think or the deeds you do, um, either by your mental focus or your behavioral conduct. Um, and they both reinforce one another. And so when you think just about work, 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 hi-ho, hi-ho, off to work I go. Um, whenever you um, are just obsessed with work and your behavior affirms that, your identity is going to be wrapped up all in that. You could substitute work for sports, hobbies, uh, family, um, sex, um, alcohol. You could substitute work for anything. Your thoughts and your behavior will reinforce your dominant identity. So if I want my identity to change, I have to come to Jesus and say, Lord, renew my mind. Help me renew my mind. He wants to give us the mind of Christ, but we have to be the ones that set our minds on things above. We have to be the ones that transform our thinking. When that happens, all of a sudden I start to see myself differently. I start to behave myself differently. Why? Because... I have a new identity in Christ because um, I have a, a new behavior motivated by Christ. My habits change, my meditation changes, my participation changes. And lastly, um, I change how I reproduce myself. I reproduce myself. To be a disciple is to be spiritually reproductive. Just as you and I biologically, physiologically are created to reproduce Spiritually, we are created anew in the in a new body, the new self, the new the new mind, to reproduce ourselves uh, spiritually. Um, I love the little verse uh, two two two, Second Timothy chapter two verse two, the Message Bible. Throw yourself into this work for Christ. Pass on what you heard from me to reliable leaders who are competent to teach others. Love that little verse because within that little verse is an amazing um, multiplication. Think about think about what he says. Let's count how many times there's a, multi, there's a multiplier. Throw yourself. Who's talking? The Apostle Paul's talking. Uh, throw yourself into this work for Christ. Who's he talking to? Timothy. What work is it? The work of Christ. Okay, so think about this. Christ, Jesus revealed himself to Paul, and now Paul reveals himself to Timothy. So now we have three generations. Boom, 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 right? Throw yourself into this work for Christ. Pass on what you heard from me to reliable leaders who are competent, competent to teach others. Five, five generations in that little verse. Two, two, two. Second Timothy chapter two, verse two. Throw yourself into this work for Christ. Pass on what you heard from me to reliable leaders who are competent to teach others. You see, whenever I'm really changed and transformed, I want others to know about this transforming agent, the agent of the Spirit of God in me, convicting me, prompting me, motivating me, cleansing me, purifying me, renewing me. This Spirit within me is also within you, if you've said yes to Jesus. So, Every day when you do these videos and, and maybe and hopefully you do the videos and then you take a moment and say, Jesus, Jesus, do this work that pastor talked about. Do this work in me as I change my meditation, what I think about and focus on. Lord, do this work in me as I change my participation, involvement in a group or in a ministry. Lord, do this work in me as I change my multiplication. Lord, help me know who I'm pouring into so they can be filled more up with you. We are in a wonderful season, a season of multiplication, a season of growth. I look forward to seeing you this week as we continue to develop who God has made us to be. Love you much. Have a great weekend.